Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. Today I'm going to cover what you can do if your tri-power setup has a manifold interference with the TMAP sensor and what else is important about installing the tri-power setup with regards to the throttle bodies and the sensors in them. On the tri-power setup, the TMAP is located on the typically the front throttle body in the front and it has an access to the manifold via this port. It's important that TMAP is able to read manifold vacuum. That's what the MAP stands for is manifold absolute pressure. But on tri-powers, if you're adapting this to a custom manifold or to a existing stock manifold that has uh, interference right here with the MAP sensor, we can actually re relocate this MAP sensor possibly to the rear throttle body, or actually just swap the throttle bodies from front and rear, or take the sensor out and attach it to uh, the rear port here that has a large diameter, a 3 8 inch diameter vacuum port, and use a piece of fuel line that has enough reach to relocate the sensor outside the throttle body. It's important that the MAP sensor still has access to the manifold vacuum. This one has it via that hole right there. If you do relocate the MAP sensor, you will need to purchase a plug for this IAC hole that's in the position where the T-MAP sensor was. This comes out and the adapter comes out and you need to put in the plug into the front. That's in order to seal off the front throttle body from having a giant vacuum leak. It's very important on the tri-power setups to keep the large linkage throttle body with the IAC and the TPS in the middle and that's where the linkage will be attached to for throttle cables or throttle rods. It'll be attached to the middle one and the middle one has fairly equal flow front and rear and then the secondary throttle bodies have a linkage connecting them to each other and then to the middle or middle to both outside throttle bodies. The primary reason for requiring the center throttle body to have the idle air control in the throttle position is because the airflow is shared front and rear fairly equally from the center throttle body and the idle air control will be allowing more or less air in to achieve the idle speed and that's coming from here and going into the center throttle body and it'll equally distribute. If it were off offset to the front or the rear these cylinders would get a little bit more air if wherever the idle air control is and uh, that would cause a rough running idle. The throttle position also needs to be on the center because if you connect the linkage from your pedal, you'd want it to be on the center one. If there's any slack in the system, the center one will open up maybe a little bit earlier than the other two and that air will equally distribute from front to rear and that will prevent any kind of hesitation or misfire or uh, any kind of rough running stumble off idle. Because the center throttle body is distributing air and fuel to evenly front and rear, that's the throttle body that we get to use to adjust the idle screw for the idle air control. The front and rear throttle bodies should be matching each other so that the cylinders at the front of the engine and the rear of the engine get the same air fuel ratios approximately when it's at idle. The other vacuum ports on the rear throttle body is a small one at the lower level which could be used for vacuum accessories such as the heater control doors on your on your interior. The higher vacuum port is called ported vacuum and that's above the throttle blade so it doesn't start getting vacuum until the throttle opens a little bit. That port can be used for vacuum advance. That's the primary function for it. So a vacuum advance on your distributor, connect that to the canister. An important thing to note when relocating the TMAP sensor and connecting it to say the brake booster port there is don't share that same port with a brake booster and don't share that same vacuum hose with anything else. It has to have a direct connection to manifold vacuum with no teed vacuum accessories or anything else in that same circuit because it's trying to read as precise a value of the vacuum inside the intake manifold for its load calculation so that it can calculate the fuel properly. Things like brake boosters will have a little bit of flow in and out and that will cause lag in the system reading for the load which could cause hesitation. If it has some other accessory on there it could actually have a significant amount of flow that's 
into transi transitions between on and off for those accessories, that will definitely affect the reading on the map sensor and cause air fuel ratio anomalies. You can relocate the T-map if you have to, follow the rules in the video. Don't relocate the center throttle body because the airflow and the throttle response. Make sure you do everything correctly with that T-map. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or, or contact our tech support. And join us again for another Tech Tuesday at FiTech.